Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I thought I'd give you a little look at what my setup is whenever I'm doing these drawing videos for you. So let's just kind of go over what I've got uh, on the left hand side. Since I'm left handed, I have all of my pencils, pens, uh, mechanical pencils, erasers, everything like that. Uh, looking on the table, I've got um, the Bristol pad. I have uh, my pre-cut little drawing 5x7 sheets. Some of them are uh, the Bristol. Some of them are toned paper like this, Strathmore toned, uh, both gray and tan. And then some of them I'll take and I will do a little acrylic wash on them if I'm going to, you know, pencil isn't going to work real good on that, but you can use uh, ink. So uh, that's what I do for these. Just in, I, sometimes I want something a little different, so I'll just pick them up. Uh, this little guy is for, uh, drafters will uh, recognize it. It has eraser shavings in it, and it just helps to clean off your surface real nice. I always have a couple of needed erasers. I've got a plastic eraser and then of course my electric eraser that you've seen me use. Uh, these are my uh, my blending brushes. I, I don't use them for anything else. They're soft, very inexpensive brushes. Uh, doesn't really matter what, what brand you use, just as long as they're soft and you can get them to uh, kind of blend. Uh, my pencils, I almost always anymore draw with um, Blackwing. Uh, this is the Blackwing Pearl, and I keep a nice sharp tip on it. And uh, I love them because you can replace the erasers if you need to. The Pearls are not quite as soft as these Palominos, the Blackwings. Uh, and I do like those, but I don't seem to draw with them quite as much as I do with the Pearls. And I'm so old school, even though I have an electric eraser on my desk, uh, I like this old uh, crank style one. So that's the one that I use the most of all. Um, nice little drafting brush and uh, nothing special. And looking at my drawing surface, you notice that I have my camera mounted to a copy stand. Uh, I do use this for other things, but uh, I also use it for, for my drawing setups. So I like it because you can, uh, you know, it's a nice heavy base. I've cut some foam core to soften the surface that I'm drawing on. And uh, I can put my camera up there and I can crank it up and down to uh, change the crop that I, I, I want to have. Because sometimes I work on larger drawings and some, sometimes smallers. Yeah, this copy stand, it really helps me to get the, the cropping that I need whenever I'm doing my videos. Not something that you need if you're just sitting down and drawing, but it, it really helps. Uh, this is my light that uh, I can move around, and you'll see that I can change the illumination on the drawing, and I can get rid of the shadows that my hand causes. So that's real helpful. It has four different uh, settings for different intensities of light. It works real well. Um, and here's how I present some of the little sketches that I do. I, I've got little 5x7, little 8x10s, little 4x6s, uh, glass on the front. Uh, the drawing just pops right on the inside. And uh, it's a nice presentation. And uh, it's something that just about anybody could afford. So I like to have those whenever I do shows. Let's take a look at the paper that I like to use. I don't sketch in sketchbooks anymore because I like to sell my little uh, sketches. This is Strathmore Bristol. It's uh, acid-free and heavyweight. I like the 300 series. It's a nice balance between quality and, and, and price. Uh, normally I don't use the 9x12. Normally I'll use this 11x14 and I can cut this into four different sheets uh, for my 5x7 uh, drawings. And you can see here, it's it's a nice heavyweight paper. Uh, it doesn't buckle on you, it doesn't crease, uh, as long as you're not throwing it around. Uh, I'll have uh, some 8x10s cut, so that I, if I feel like doing a little larger drawing or a series of drawings, I'll use a little 8x10. Uh, and I've got uh, frames for those as well. And then... Uh, Real nice for doing finished drawings. 
This is one I'm going to be releasing for you uh, in a video uh, here in a little bit. If I come a little bit uh, closer in here, uh, you can see the technique. You can see the, the sketching. And uh, yeah, it's great paper to work on. I really can uh, recommend it highly. I love it. It's easily erasable. You just, you can't go wrong with the Bristol. And one piece of uh, kit that I almost completely forgot was my laptop. I always have my laptop that I'm drawing from. I have a Pinterest page and I've got different boards. The one that I use the most is People to Draw. And so many people have a board like this. You may have one yourself, but uh, I can just scroll through and, and find an interesting face or an interesting position of a head to draw. The other one that, <laughs> that I haven't seen anyone else do is uh, mug shots for, for sketching. Uh, it's something that I put together just because uh, I'm not trying to shame, any, shame anybody. I just find that these are really interesting faces. People, uh, some uh, are just a real traditional mugshot like this fella here. And then one, uh, two over here, uh, you know, real surprised. You've got people who act like this is their glamour shot. Uh, people who uh, can't stay awake for their mugshot. So... That's my other go-to board. I have one on, you know, anatomy pieces, hands or f faces, things like that. But yeah, this is my setup. I have it uh, ready to go any time that I want to break and just sit down and draw at the end of the day. Well, that'll do it for me. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up or subscribe or notification. You, you, you know the routine. If there's something that you like to do or have in your setup, write it down in the comments. I'd love to see what you guys have come up with. Because I'm always learning from you. Well, I've run out of things to say. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you down the road in the next video. Till then, peace.